Hello guys, welcome to my channel. For this video, we have to discuss three important topics related to my last video with the title of Resistance and Resistivity. Okay, first one is the resistivity and percent conductivity. Second is the temperature resistance effects. And the third one is the temperature coefficient of resistance. Okay guys, let's go to the first topic resistivity and percent conductivity as we all know the formula of resistance is r is equal to rho times l divided by a but if we have to find the rho then it will be rho is equal to r times a divided by l in this case guys we will use annealed copper as our basis for calculation The resistivity of the annealed copper is equal to 10.37 ohm circular mean over feet at 20 degrees Celsius. This value of resistivity can also be expressed in metric units, which we are going to use in solving percent conductivity. We also have to take note that 1 million circular mean is equal to pi over 4 square inch. By conversion guys, 10.37 ohm circular mean over feet equal to 1.724 times 10 raised to 6 ohm centimeter or simply 1.724 micro ohm centimeter okay guys we will use one cubic centimeter of annealed copper at 20 degrees celsius as a standard which have a 100 percent conductivity this table one guys resistivity of common elements at 20 degrees celsius is already shown at the part 1 of my video, Resistance and Resistivity. Again, in solving resistivities of materials in micro-ohm centimeter, we just have to remember that for a copper, we have 10.37 ohm circular mean over feet, which is also equal to 1.724 micro-ohm centimeter. And so for that, if we solve resistivity of other materials, then we just have to use proportionality method so we go now to the examples okay example number one calculate the resistivities in micro ohm centimeter and percent conductivities of cast iron silver and tungsten okay example number one cast iron the resistivity of cast iron in ohm circular mean over feet is 54 so the solution is 1.724 micro ohm centimeter over 10.37 ohm circular mean over feet times 54 ohm circular mean over feet using the calculator guys the result is 8.98 micro ohm centimeter for its percent conductivity we have 1.724 divided by 8.98 multiplied by 100 then we have 19.2% let's go for the example 1 letter B then we have the silver which has a resistivity of 9.9 .9 ohm circular mean over feet so again the solution is 1.724 divided by 10.37 times 9.9 .9. so we have 1.65 micro ohm centimeter the percent conductivity can be solved by 1.724 divided by 1.65 times 100 which will result in 104.5 percent conductivity and lastly is the tungsten which have a resistivity of 33 and for the solution we have 1.724 divided by 10.37 multiplied by 33 and will result in 5.5 micro ohm centimeter and to solve its percent conductivity we have 1.724 divided by 5.5 multiplied by 100 and will result to 31.4 percent you will notice guys that the lower the resistivity the higher the percent conductivity and vice versa next we go to the example number two Calculate the resistivity of a manufactured run of an L copper wire at 20 degrees Celsius in ohm circular mils over feet if its conductivity is A 96.5% and B 
100.8%. To solve this problem, we just use the formula in sample number 1. Percent conductivity is equal to resistivity of copper divided by resistivity of given material multiplied by 100. So since we have to find the resistivity in ohm circular mill over peat, then we will use 10.37. So for the solution, we have 10.37 divided by x. Let x be the resistivity of that material. 10.37 over x times 100 is equal to 96.5. So by manipulation, example 2a will be 10.74 ohm circular mill over feet. So next, B is equal to 100.8%. So again, 10.37 over X times 100 is equal to 100.8. By solving this, we have 10.288 ohm circular mean over P. The next topic for this blog is the temperature resistance effect, meaning resistance varies depending on the temperature. As an example, copper wire changes resistance in 42.7% for any 100 degrees Celsius temperature change. Example, the temperature rises from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius or from negative 20 to 80 or 120 down to 20. So it means that the graph of resistance versus temperature will be straight line. So we have the formula R2 divided by R1 which is equal to constant T plus T2 divided by constant T plus T1 where R1 and R2 are the resistance at the respective temperatures T1 and T2. The value of constant T is given in this table, which are the inferred absolute zero of several materials. So we go now to the examples. Example number one. A coil of copper wire has a resistance of 62 ohms at room temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. A. What will be its resistance at 80 degrees Celsius? B. What will be its resistance at negative 20 degrees Celsius? And so for A, we have to use the formula R2 divided by R1 is equal to constant T plus T2 over constant T plus T1. So let R2 be the resistance at 80 degrees Celsius. So rewriting the equation, we have, and by the way guys, the inferred absolute value of temperature of copper is 234.5 degrees Celsius. So we have now R2 is equal to 62 times 234.5 plus 80 over 234.5 plus 24. Okay, by using the calculator, then the result will be 75.5 ohms. So for example, 1B, we have R1 is equal to 62 ohms. T2 is equal to negative 20 degrees Celsius. T1 is equal to 24 degrees Celsius and the constant T is 234.5. Okay, by solving the equation, we have R2 is equal to 62 times 234.5 minus 20 over 234.5 plus 24. So using the calculator, we have 51.5 ohms. Okay, another example. Example number 2. At room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, the resistance of electrical machine copper winding is 0.18 ohm. After it was operated for a period of time, the resistance became 0.206 ohm. Calculate the temperature and the temperature rise of the winding. Using the formula, R2 divided by R1 is equal to constant T plus T2 over constant T plus T1. R2 is equal to 0 0.206, R1 is equal to 0 0.18, and T1 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, by rewriting the equation in the calculator, we have 0 0.206 divided by 0 0.18, which is equal to 234.5 plus X or T2 divided by 234.5 plus 23. So the result, guys, is 60 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the rise in temperature is equal to T2 minus T1. So, 60 minus 23 is equal to 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, for the next topic is the temperature coefficient of resistance. 
from the formula R2 over R1 is equal to constant T plus T2 over constant T plus T1, they derived a formula which can easily be used especially when calculating materials resistance when the specified temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius. The formula R2 over R1 is equal to constant T plus T2 over constant T plus T1. We have R2 is equal to R1 open bracket 1 plus alpha 1 open parenthesis T2 minus T1 close parenthesis and close bracket which alpha is equal to 1 divided by constant T plus T1 where T is the inferred absolute temperature for several materials. Alpha 1 is the temperature resistant coefficient of resistance at the temperature T1. For example, copper which the reference temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. So to find alpha, we have the solution. In this image is the list of temperature resistance coefficient at 20 degrees Celsius. So for the last example, at normal operating temperature of a tungsten filament lamp, its resistance is 132 ohms, while at room temperature 20 degrees Celsius, the resistance is 9.8 ohms. Find the temperature of the heated element. So the given guys is R1 is equal to 9.8 ohms, T1 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius, R2 is equal to 132 ohms, and alpha is equal to 0 0.0045 based on the table. So guys, we have to rewrite the equation in the calculator. So as the result, the temperature of the heated lamp is 2791 degrees Celsius. As a summary guys, for resistivity and percent conductivity, we have the resistivity in microm centimeter which can be solved by 1.724 microohm centimeter divided by 10.37 ohm circular mil over feet times the resistivity of given material in ohm circular mil over feet. While the percent conductivity is equal to resistivity of copper divided by the resistivity of given material times 100. Temperature resistance effects the formula is R2 over R1 is equal to constant T plus T2 all over constant T plus T1. And lastly, for temperature coefficient of resistance, we have R2 is equal to R1 open bracket 1 plus alpha 1 open parenthesis T2 minus T1 close parenthesis and close bracket. So those are the summaries of formulas guys. So again, I hope you learned something. See you in the next vlog.